So the way there's a number of like uh, incidents just sort of like led me to eventually getting there. Uh, it was not just one thing, but if I look back at all of them, it just makes sense that I would sort of end up where I, where I eventually ended up. Um, I think I've always been someone who was, um, because I, I, I left Uganda and then came here, there was sort of like this um, uh, disjointedness that I felt, um, you know, coming to, I, like, I, I left Uganda when I was 13, went to the States, and when I was in the States, you know, that's when I encountered uh, the ideas that people had about Africans, you know, <laughs> and that sort of uh, was, like, one of the things that began to push me in that direction, you know, like, Africans were thought of as poor, Africans were thought of as dirty, Africans were thought of as, you know, slavery, not attractive, all those things, and it's just, we weren't cool. <laughs> we, we really, really won't, weren't cool, um, and it's quite interesting to see how that's changed now. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case like Afrobeats is like huge now, uh, you know, there's a, a huge uh, interest in, you know, in, in African history much more than it was when I first moved. Um, so that was like one of the things that like was, you know, was beginning to push me in that direction because um, I felt like I didn't really know where I was from. I felt like I needed to, like I needed to feel proud about where I was from, if, if that makes sense. Um, so I had to sort of find the things that would make me feel good about what it is, where it is I'm from, um, whether in terms of history. Uh, initially, it was like comparing it to European history, uh, but <laughs> that turns out to, that, that turned out to be a mistake um because we are very 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 different um and that's okay uh, so meeting people's perceptions of what they thought Africa was in all the places that I went to outside of Uganda uh that had a very big impact on how I felt about myself uh and how I felt about people my ancestors, um, no one seemed to know uh, where we came from. It just, no one even seemed to care, <laughs> to be quite honest. You know, like it, it, it I, like one of the things that stuck out to me is like, oh, you know, I'm here in class and I can learn about, you know, European history from 18, 1800s back before Middle Ages, whatever. And I thought I was just like, hang on a minute, what, what were we doing? And like, no one knows. <laughs> And no one could tell me. Uh, and I could see how all these things uh, influenced the people who live here, right? You know, like uh, for the Japanese people, the samurai tradition and how it was ongoing for centuries and how it still like has a huge impact in their society today. The whole knighthood and chivalry thing, you know, like all these elements from the past influenced their current society. But I didn't, couldn't really see how that influenced our society today so that kind of all led me to eventually start exploring and start asking the question like i want to i want to know more <laughs> about where i come from yeah i don't i don't know if that uh makes sense for you yeah